presets are one of the most powerful features on Dub, and in this video, we're going to show how they work and how to create them. First, when you're using a preset, what it's going to do is automatically apply all of your settings to your video pages. Here now, I'm recording a video, and what's going to happen is it's going to automatically apply my default preset. So every time I create a video on Dub, it's going to apply the following elements the background, the watermark, the player colors, the playlist, and your call to action buttons. All of these are part of a preset, including some elements that aren't seen directly. This is how you go about creating a preset. In the Dub Asset Library, under Presets, you'll find the Preset Library. Click the plus button to create a new preset. Typically, you'll want to name the preset the same way you name your other assets, who it is, and what it's for. In this example, we'll do Darius's default. The first option here you'll see is sharing. With presets and any other asset on Dub, you can share them with either just the owner, which is just me, the entire team, which is everyone on the team, or with a specific group of users within the team. There's a separate training for how to create groups within a team. The owner is who the preset will belong to and who it will be shared with by default. The video description is the box that appears below your video where a description can be included. You can have a default description applied to every video you create. Video templates is an advanced feature that's discussed in a different video. For the majority of users, video templates should not be utilized. This is where you apply your calls to action. In this example here, I have three calls to action. In the preset creation menu, simply search for the call to action you would like to attach and attach them in the order that you would like them to appear. Once you've selected those calls to action, these are the buttons that are gonna show up on your video once this preset is applied. Finally, there's the playlist where you can search for the videos that you would like to appear in the order that you'd like them to appear. This playlist is where those videos will show up and those videos will play automatically back to back in the order that you've selected them here. There's also some video options. Some of these have a tooltip explaining what this feature is. Others are self-explanatory. You can hide the playlist so that the video playlist is not visible, but still functions. When these boxes are selected, these will automatically be applied to every video that this preset is applied to. The sharing option here is when the video is created, what will its default sharing options be? So these two sharing options are separate. This sharing option is for the preset itself, and this sharing option is for what sharing option will be applied to the video that's created by this preset. And there's also your privacy, where by default, videos are shareable. However, you can make them to where they are not visible by others or featured on your account. These color controls allow you to control the colors of the different elements on your page. The player color relates to the play button and the play bar here. The CTA button color refers to the color of the button specifically. The CTA text color refers to the color of the text itself. The title color is the color of the text title that can appear here optionally. The frame color is the color of the frame around your video page elements. And finally, the header color is the color of this top navigation bar where only the logo will be visible to your recipients. These elements are only visible when you're logged into a Dub account. The last element here of your preset is the background. In this example, I have a custom background image uploaded. You can either search for a theme by simply typing in a theme, anything you'd like to look for. There's thousands of stock photos. You can simply click load more to search for more. If you'd like to upload a custom background, it is required that is a 1280 by 720 image, which is a PowerPoint size or Canva sized image. So you can create any image you'd like. Just be aware that the video will take up the majority of the center of the image. Only the borders will be visible. Once you have selected all the elements here of your preset, you will click Save and Close. Now, this preset will be available in your library. Whichever preset is selected as a default 
is the one that will automatically be applied to your video every time you record or upload from any device, including the mobile app, the extension, the desktop, and website. In the example I shared, this preset was automatically applied to my video. This preset consisted of this background, this playlist, and these buttons. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the preset here to another example so you can see how a preset is instantly applied to change all of the elements on your video page at once, including the colors, playlist, videos, backgrounds, and more. So once you have created a preset, select it as a default. You can have as many different presets as you'd like. Typically, you will want to create presets for your most common applications, such as prospecting or newsletters or any activities that you're repeating. 